Hi, this is Jim. I just thought I'd show you what I do these days when I grade your submissions for GPH-205. What you see behind me right here is two different computers, a laptop and then not really a computer but a monitor right here. I'm going to show you how I've got this set up so that I can grade your submissions and also be making these annotations and these uh, feedback remarks on the grade transcript that I prepare for each student for this course. So let's take a close look. And I'll just move in a little bit closer here so you can see exactly what's going on. And I'll try not to get in the way as I demonstrate what I'm doing as I could do this grading. Now you only see a little bit of my face and that's okay. What I'm hoping you see is what goes on on these screens. On this monitor here, I've got a submission that somebody is turning in. And you can see here, this is really quite a, a colorful historiated initial. And I'm taking a look at this now, as well as all the other historiated initials that this student has turned in. And this larger monitor on the right really does a nice job of showing this out. Here, I've got up on this side the grading summary form on which I make these entries. So here, I get a chance to give you this sort of comments and feedback which you can then use to revise your work and resubmit it. Now that's kind of a new thing in courses like this. I think in most courses you're probably accustomed to the fact that you submit your work, you get a grade on it, and that's it. In keeping with what we can do in distance learning courses, it's really much better if you get a chance to submit your work and then you get a chance to revise it based on comments from the instructor mentor. Not only does that boost your chances for a good grade, which it indeed does, but I think it's the essence of this mentoring relationship where I give you something to do and then I want to see how you do it and I can give you some ideas about correcting it and making it better. I really think that's the way education should work. And in keeping with that, for the essay the reflective essay at the end of the term. Remember I've indicated if you can give me some of that essay by Wednesday. In fact that's coming up tomorrow. Maybe that deadline's a little too tight. Why don't we say Thursday? Give it to me by noon Thursday. I'll give you a reading on it. And then you really only have to turn that essay in a week from tomorrow night by midnight. Now, what you give me could be as little as one page. Write it up for one civilization. One student's already done that. He wanted to get the essay out of the way early. So he wrote up one page of it so that I could see the direction he was going in. And I gave him feedback on that and confirmed that he was going in a very good direction. Why not? Then, when he wrote the rest of the essay, which, by the way, he's already turned in. When he wrote the rest of the essay, he had a lot more confidence in the fact that he was doing it in a way that was totally in keeping with the assignment. So, why don't you think about doing that, too? I know you have finals going on this week, but if you can write one page, that is, one of the eras or civilizations, write it in the first person, write it to be interesting and historically accurate. Send me that one page. I will give you a critique of it, and I will then not record a grade for you, but make an indication that you actually got a little bit of review. Then you still have almost a week after Thursday to prepare the essay in full form, and you can turn it in any time, up until a week from Wednesday, that is November the 23rd, at midnight. That's the latest I can accept any work extra credit in the course, anything you want to turn in, even for late credit. The final exam, you really do want to take that final exam, finishing it by Sunday night at midnight. And in order to do that, you really ought to start it no later than about 9 o'clock on Sunday night. One other piece of advice I will give you, the extra credit that I posted just the other day, I sent out to everybody, and it's also posted on the website, that extra credit is worth 5% of your course grade. That's 50 points out of 1,000. 
but it also helps you review immensely for the final exam. Now some students have already done that. I would strongly suggest that you take a look at that extra credit for Unit 3 and complete it. It's a turnaround document. You write your answers into it. Well, you actually put them in there using a word processor and you submit it to me. By doing that, you will do yourself a big favor. I have to keep leaning forward because I can't see that I have any hair on the top of my head. By doing that extra credit, you will do yourself a big favor, not only with credit, but in terms of reviewing for the final exam. So by all means, do that extra credit before you attempt the final. I hope the course wraps up well for you. I'm doing everything I can to uh, make that possible for you, but of course you still have to earn the points in order for a good grade to come out. If you have any problems or questions, please call me. I'd uh, be happy to help you. I will be at the phone all week. I will be on campus next week in the loop at a conference on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I might be slightly indisposed then, but that's really cutting it pretty close. So dig in and do as much as you can this week. Do as well as you can. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.